we are shopping a few different thrift stores today. The first one is the Salvation Army on Johnson Drive in Mission, Kansas. I begin off in the front of the store. Things look promising, although prices are looking a bit high. I was enjoying that blanket and was thinking about these burlap sacks, but they were $10 each. So instead, we head back to the home decor section. Because I have already done this thrift haul, I get to show y'all what's sold. I picked up this brass butterfly for $4 and it's sold at $12.95. I went around the corner as soon as I spotted these Crocs. They were a little pricey at $16 and $33, so I did pass. This little tote here was $7 alone, so prices here were definitely higher. I really had to pick through the things to find good prices. This candlestick, I bought a pair exactly like it a while back for way less. Um, it's a great wooden candlestick, but there was only one and it was like $13. I tap on things a lot, you'll notice, to kind of figure out what the material is made out of. That planter urn was cute, but it was a cheapy plastic, so I passed loved some of the baskets that were here but they were crazy high on prices i did however buy this one it was really interesting and i still can't quite figure it out Wooden bowls sell really well for me, but that set was over $20. Did not make sense for me to buy it. These little organizing boxes were really cute and would have made great floral boxes. It was uh, $6, I think, for a set of four. Went ahead and passed on it. This little bread box was pretty adorable. It was modern though, so I left it behind, but that mint color was great. I then spotted these little corbels next to it and I did snag those up at a couple bucks a piece. I generally love picking up these geese, but this one was a holiday goose, so it stayed back as I continue to shop. I like angel decor, but this one was just a bit creepy, so I passed on it. I found another little unicorn. It was a single though, so I left it behind. I've been finding a ton of unicorns lately. I had to show Lorraine and then I put it back and I fell in love with these baskets. They'd be beautiful on the wall, but they were $20 a piece, y'all. I was like, why? Why, why, why? And even these risers um, or chargers, I guess, were way too pricey. I couldn't figure out exactly what this little thing was at first. I thought it was a scoop or a pitcher. And then Lorraine spotted the match striker on the side, so it's a long match holder. Sometimes I spot things at the thrift store and it strikes an idea. I saw this mixed metal angel. They don't sell well for me, even though I think they're beautiful. And I had the idea to take one apart that I already had at home. I've had a couple since Christmas and they hadn't sold, so I'm going to upcycle them and use the pieces for some decor boards. They definitely were popular and have sold well. I have a video on how I made those. I can link it below for you. Ooh, I finally found one! 
That one might be old. I'm one of the It's cute. You're cute. These copper molds were really pretty and I'm kind of kicking myself for not getting them now. I think they would have been like $13 together. They were a little pricey for me. The selling of the copper molds has slowed down a bit for me. Copper still sells great, but not all copper. So because one had fruit on it, I ended up leaving them behind. I'm kind of wishing I would have got that one on the right, but it's okay. All right, now we're gonna head to Blessings Abound. Last time I came here, everybody was saying, ooh, these prices are way too high. These are not thrift store prices. And there's definitely a bit of a boutique-y vibe in here. Some of their older stuff is marked a little higher. So we'll see what we can find. It is right there. Here is the chicken that freaked everybody out last time. It's a $60 chicken and he's still there. Surprise, surprise. Blessings Abound is on Metcalf in Overland Park, Kansas, and although some of their items are higher, I can definitely always find some great deals, and there is so much selection at this store. I have been searching and searching for metal rolling pins, and I found two this weekend, so that was super exciting. I always find some great baskets and today was no different. I found another unique one here, this little round one with the hole in the top and then a removable lid. Y'all let me know down in the comments what you think this basket is made for. I still haven't figured it out. One of my very favorite finds from the weekend was the mixed metal kindling bucket I found hidden behind these urns. Those urns were pretty neat, but they had grapes and just would have been hard to ship. I wasn't interested in them. And then I really spotted this because I was looking at them. So I'm thankful I at least peeked. <laughs> this big, beautiful brass and copper kindling bucket was only $15. This basket was large and only $5, but pretty broken, and this bird's beak was broken off, so I left those other things behind. I found a unicorn storage box like that a few weeks ago, and now I found the puppies. Drop me a comment if you had one with animals when you were little. Some of the brass and copper is too high at Blessings Abound and I wouldn't make enough profit, but I always find at least a few pieces, including some really unique things. I picked up this piece and it sold at $14.95. Last stop today is Major Thrift in Topeka. It is Sunday, so everything is 20% off. Up those two Crocs for a few dollars each and gave them a quick makeover on a Facebook Live. If you missed that, you can catch it. I'll drop a link down in the description box below. 
super simple makeovers and I just love the way they came out. Let me know which one is your favorite. I really liked this silver star-shaped tray, and I'm thinking I probably should have picked it up for 4th of July, but I didn't. I don't even know if I looked to see how much it was. This penguin statue was adorable. Birds sell really well for me, but it was marked at 15, so I left it behind. Drop me a comment if you love penguins. Always check inside the boxes, y'all. That was a brand new propagating piece, and I actually gifted that to Lorraine. So that was a good find for $4. It was really cute. Liked this bench. It was $40. It would have been 20% off, and I realized it wasn't actual wood, so walked away from that. I've painted a couple little pieces like this. They're a fun, quick flip, but that one was $50, so I decided to pass. Thanks for coming along with me today to do some thrifting. If y'all missed the haul, you can catch the replay for sure and head on over to upcycledbybree.com to shop the haul and my flips. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and click the little notification bell to all so you don't miss any new thrifting videos. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye friends.